As we continue our look into the envelope automation now, we're going to take a look at two things. First, draw mode, which is up here, the pencil, and also linking or unlinking. Now, what we're going to do this time is start with a different clip. Let's select by clicking on it, this drums one clip. And we need to set some of its parameters. Come down here to the sample box and click on the warp button, turning warp on. The tempo is set at 60. Let's increase that to 120 by clicking here on the star 2 button. And then moving over to the right just a little bit, we're going to turn the loop mode on by clicking on it. So again, warp mode on, tempo to 120, and loop mode engaged. Now that we've got that set, we're going to open up the envelope parameters again here in the basic clip parameter box. Come down and click on E till it turns yellow and then hide the waveform box by clicking on it till it turns black. So now again we're going to start by looking at draw mode. We can turn this on or off by clicking on it as I said, but also command B and control B. Now notice when draw mode is enabled our mouse now looks like a pencil. What this does is it ties our volume changes to this grid that we see behind us. I'm going to bring my master volume up to about zero there. And we'll begin playback by clicking on this clip's launch button right here. Now we can create things that match a timing grid. So let's just create an alternating volume up, down. So now you can see again we're doing the clip volume. And you can create rhythmic steps. You don't have to click and hold. Now if you want to turn a section off, simply drag across the bottom. And if I want to stay on longer, I'm going to click here. Now we come again and turn certain sections out. So drawing with draw mode on, creating envelopes this way, creates a rhythmic feel to whatever we might be altering. Now I'm going to reset all this. Just drag the straight line across the top. And go to pan. Now let's click and hold and create some variation here. I'm going to put two points left, two points right, leave it in the middle for a while, right, left, right, and then we'll do the same thing down here just randomly putting some to the left and to the right. And let's play back again. Now let's add a few more in here so we can hear that switching between the ears a little more carefully. Here we go. And playing back with the spacebar. I'm going to pull this down. And let's speed the tempo up to 130. Clicking, typing in 130, and pressing enter. Okay, so that's draw mode, and again, we can use that in any of the automation envelopes we study, and you experiment with also. Now, don't be confused in thinking that we can only do draw mode. If I come out of draw mode, again, Command B or Control B, now I can create smooth movements by clicking and adding points, grabbing one of these points and smoothing them out. Whatever you want to do, you can combine draw mode and non-draw mode or linear type drawing in envelope automation boxes. Let's listen to this with the space bar. I'm going to slow back down to 100, double click in the tempo box, type 100 and enter. Okay, so either you are in draw mode and you have the straight lines like this for on the grid, or you come out of draw mode and you're no longer linked or tied to the grid. Now if you right click on this grid, you can check your grid to be in different modes, adaptive or fixing it so it's always at a certain value. 
So if you understand these timing values, quarter, eighth, sixteen, etc., you can use that to change your grid for your draw mode. Let's talk quickly now about linked and unlinked. As soon as you unable the linked button here by clicking on it, the length of your automation can be something totally different than the length of your music. So this is two bar longs. I'm going to tell it to be four bars long now and have additional automation. Double click, create a point, come up, create another point, come down, and then let's go back into draw mode, command B, and draw a few things here. And playing back with the spacebar. So it does this pattern twice the drums play for every time this automation goes through. So unlinking simply means I can create a variation in how long the automation is that does not match the length of the audio. Again, the drums, if we look at them, I'll come out of unlinked mode, they are two bars long. And the automation goes for two more bars. If you want to have some fun, you can create variations like one bar of automation against two bars of music or even three bars of automation against two bars of music when the automation is odd and the amount of music is even you'll get some variations that change over a long period of time so you definitely want to experiment with that okay next we'll continue looking at the automation for transposition